Facebook clip that I shot a bull cow swimming toward me in a hotel swimming pool in May of 2020 is the kind of temptation that I was being presented with back in May of 2020. We had just come out of the first round of COVID lockdowns and Bu Kao and I had decided to go up to uh, Chiang Mai just to get out of town for a while. But this is the kind of behavior that was now being directed toward me. As being, I, I was the target <laughs> of Miss Bu Kao's uh, attention. Bukow and I had begun our relationship as business partners uh, eight years ago. Uh, I hired Bukow to be my Thai partner in, in a yoga business here in Bangkok. And part of the arrangement, part of the deal that I made with her is her and her family could stay in the big townhouse that I had rented. I needed that space for the yoga studio, which was on the second floor. And Bukow had four kids. She had three of her own and a niece that stayed with us as well. And Bua Cow and her family could stay in the house. There was plenty of room. It was four stories. And my bedroom's on the fourth floor. The Thai floor was the third floor. The second floor was the yoga studio. And of course, there was the family space down in the, in the living room, the living room and living, dining, kitchen, kitchen area on the, on the ground floor. It was a very beguiling state to be in. I had decided to stay in Thailand because if I went back to the States, Boa Cow and her family would have suffered greatly. And I didn't want that to happen. I had become quite fond of this Thai family that had been living with me for four years. And of course, now my relationship with Boa Cow became 100% personal. And she did everything she could to take good care of the old guy with a pension. <laughs> The kids, too. Everybody was glad to have me around. And, and uh, it was a very comfortable state to be in. I got fat and happy. Uh, I got fat, anyway. I guess I wasn't that happy about getting fat. It's, it's, it's an easy way of life. I even considered for a while just you know, relenting to old age, to, to stop... Uh, you know, to st stop working out and, you know, the intensity that I've brought to my lifestyle, like, forever. And just let go of that and relax and enjoy my final years on the planet, letting, letting these people take care of me. But that doesn't work for me. Now, if it's something that you're seeking, this is the kind of place that you might want to do. Thailand and the Philippines, countries in Southeast Asia. Um, you know, these more traditional lifestyles are, are available here, especially for old guys with pensions. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if that's what you want, yeah, you can find that here. But in December of 2022, I decided to get behind myself and push and start getting back in shape. And that's what I did. I started working out four times a week, started, you know, taking care of my diet, take, you know, preparing my own meals, and which I've done for most of my adult life. Uh, and what I did is I shifted my attitude toward all my chores. I had started making videos when when... COVID had shut down my yoga business. It was the first time in my life I had ever been without a job. But, you know, now I don't need one. I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have resources to live on. But I'm, I'm just used to being focused and that kind of attention that one brings to a profession. So what I started doing is I started bringing that perspective, that attention, that focus to making videos, to photography that I get into as well. And I've been a writer for, for most of my life, like forever. I've been a writer. So I brought a professional attitude toward those three medium. Plus, I brought that attitude to my daily chores of you know taking care of myself and those around me. And with this kind of renewed vigor, I lost weight. I got back in shape. My mind started to feel a little bit more sharp. I regained the the the, the assertive confidence that I had always lived my life with, and it felt good. And I'm still doing it. Problem is. Bukow and I started to fade apart. <laughs> I actually
actually came to the park at sunset to find a quiet place to shoot a video. <laughs> Bangkok is never quiet. At least they're good. <laughs> Bull Cow is a cheerful woman with a pleasant disposition. But the happiest that I've seen her is when we were all sequestered under her plague mandated supervision. I like COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> everybody's home, right? Yes. <laughs> when Bulacow and I first met, she was struggling. By employing her and giving her a place to live, I doubled her income and all but eliminated her, uh, her expenses. And she took advantage of that. She's a very clever uh, and, and uh, hardworking, focused individual. She's, she's actually an impressive woman. And she saved that money. She was used to living frugally, so she saved a lot of that money. And during the lockdowns, she took advantage of some distressed properties up in the village where she grew up in northern Thailand in Loi province up by the Laotian border. And she's you know, kind of a well-known person up there. Her father was a big shot there. He's since passed away. But she bought a whole bunch of properties up there. And her family farms those properties for her. So now she has an income. She has an income of her own. Before Tammy Young lent my father, oh, but my father cut to sell, cut to sell, sell, sell. No help. But now I can buy, come back, need noy. Bukow also made a deal with her her ex-husband on a property that they owned jointly in Kanchanaburi. And they sold that property and she took out 7 million baht from that deal. That's a little over 190,000 US dollars. And she took that windfall and began building a house up in Lower Province. <laughs> While all that's going on, I found myself pretty much in the same position that I was when I arrived in Thailand over eight years ago. I was in good shape, feeling good, fancy free, with, uh, with plenty of freedom to do things that I like to do. I started traveling again. Most recently, I was in the Philippines for seven weeks where I was practicing yoga very intensely. And they asked me to lead a couple of classes while I was there as well. Elbows up, chest up, spine straight, stomach in, full arms, exhale. So yeah, what happens when a woman whose preference is to have, you know, her family and the people she loves close to her where she can kind of supervise them. <laughs> That's kind of the way it is. And she's with a guy that, you know, is kind of fancy free, likes to travel, and has a lot of different interests. How's that gonna work out? <laughs> <laughs> now that's not what Paul was actually laughing at. I just thought that that was a nice little clip to use to kind of bring home the point. <laughs> that's, while I was in the Philippines, I flew to Dumaguete on Negros Island to interview Paul uh, for a piece that I was writing. I made a video about it as well, and I thought I'd use this opportunity to say hello and thank you to all the people that saw that video and came over and subscribed to my channel. Welcome. Uh, this is where I am at this point in my life. I'm sad. I, I did care for Bull Cow quite a lot. I still do. She's, she's a good woman. And I think she feels similarly about me. But our lives have kind of diverged. It's just, just the way that it is. And going forward, I'm going to do exactly what I said at the beginning of this video. I am going to focus and try to bring as much excellence as possible into the things that I do. And primarily that's writing, uh, photography, and making these videos. So. Uh, so if you're still listening, thanks for that. And, you know, keep coming back. I'll do my best to make good videos.
Thanks for watching. Fråga inte vad som händer